That's right. It's fucking Travis J. Caron Day weekend. That fucking shit starts right now. Actually, it started a few hours ago, because I've already started drinking. Travis, the, the biggest challenge, the main event for tonight, is Travis is going shot for shot with a bottle of Jägermeister. That's right. It's Trav versus Trav in the mirror match in a shot for shot challenge. Man, we ain't even go shot for shot. Well, I got a pint of my own Jägermeister. Unfortunately, I started drinking four hours ago, so I sort of lost my buzz. But we're going to get that back going during the uh, during the event tonight. I just got my Jägermeister back in the freezer, so we'll get that going. But yeah, tonight is the go-home show for Slamuary. And I got to tell you, this, is, this feels like a really big... There, there's going to be a lot happening on this show, but make no mistake, this is a transitional show. We're going to get to... Easily, what, what I thought was going to be just a go-between pay-per-view between Edge of Midnight and Collateral Damage in February, but now it's become one of the bigger storyline events of the year, so I, go, I hope you guys are all excited. But it's not quite 8 o'clock yet, but we're almost there. We also have a uh, we also have American Pickers going on. They're at Dollywood right in the roller coaster. <laughs> Honest to God, that looked fun. That did not look that intense. No, it did not. It looked like a cheap coaster. All right, here we go. Let's go. Welcome, everybody, to Thursday Night Magic. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the last Thursday Night Magic before Slamuary, and we have a huge card on the table, including invitational matches for both competitors in Slamuary's World Championship match and a TV title open challenge with Peter O.E. We also have three, three Divas matches on the card tonight. So we definitely have a very good card ready for tonight. As like I said, this is the beginning of Travis J. Karande weekend. Yeah, this is a solid card. Tonight's matches are brought to you by Bethel Road Pub once again. Bethel Road Pub, the home of 30 by 7 Deadly Spins. That's going on tomorrow night. That's going to be awesome. But coming out to the ring now for our first match of the night is Kelly Crush. And I believe this is the three-way match, is it not? Uh, yes, uh, with, uh, Prism Sunrise and, uh, Junko Yakuza. The bitch is dead! <laughs> Kelly's done pretty well in the, uh, division so far. Let's see if she can keep up the momentum. Indeed. Well, Kelly's had a very good start to her career in the NWF, and I'm excited to see what she does tonight. But any match with Junko Yakota, you're already starting with an uphill battle. And then you add Prism Sunrise... To the mix. She's she's the wild card in this, definitely. Yeah. So I think this is going to be pretty interesting to watch. But we've seen r and and d superstars steal one this season. Mm -hmm. Just sneak it out from, un from under the uh, established <laughs> superstars. We could very well see Kelly Cross get a win here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, here comes Prism Sunrise, aka that bitch is a sin. Prism Sunrise. Bitch is a sin! Look at that face. <laughs> it's plastic, the eyes are yellow. It's supposed to be exterminated. I gotta say, if, if anybody's a dark horse in this match, for me, it's not Kelly Crush, it's Prism Sunrise. I, I think the Prism could easily steal this match here. Who's fighting again? This is Kelly Crush, Prism Sunrise, and coming out last of the ring is... 
The next superstar, Junko Yakoda. I mean, she's she, the smart money's on Juko, but like, she's only like a, a three to one favorite in this match. Instead Honestly, of just being a, I gotta say, Juko historically has not done very well in uh, three and four way matches. Uh, that is true. In fact, if I remember correctly, I don't think she's won one since the season started. She does, however, have the huge moral victory last week, getting the Iron Man match win over Jill Jill Marie. Absolutely. That that was a big win for her. You know, it's going to be an interesting thing. Uh, also compounding in this match, uh, Junko, a member of the uh, member of the Killers, the Killer Bees, the Killer Fuzz, whatever you want to call them. Then we got Prism, who is without who is without a faction right now. She really doesn't have uh, anything going on. She's kind of independent, but then you've got Kelly Crush, whom uh, Pro Wrestling Insider was reporting this week that Kelly Crush was actually seen speaking to Max Slain and Crazy Cobble at a uh, bar outside the arena. So, uh, that could be going places. But here we go. Triangle match to start off the Thursday Night Magic of Travis Chikarande weekend at Prism with an early roll-up. Prism trying to sneak one early. And I cannot blame her. Oh. Well, with the match started, who you got, Roxy? Uh, you know, it's hard to say. Um, you know, I've been a mark for Junko since her OJPW days. But uh, we'll see if she can cinch one in this multi-person match. Evan, who you got? This match? Yeah. Uh, Yuko from the Freezer's to Juice, too. Oh, wow. That is, that is a heavy allegation. Now, honestly, if there's if there's anybody's in this ring that's possibly juicing, like there's the allegations that were leveled against Prism Sunrise last Thursday. Ah, she was at the cellar. Well, so you're you're basically saying that Prism's not getting high off her own supply here. Nice reversal there by Junko. And Kelly gets behind Prism Sunrise, and Prism getting bullied on by both. Competitors in this match. Oh, nice elbow to the face by Junko. And there's a chop block by Prism Sunrise, and Junko goes down and takes hits. Now Junko getting bullied. She decides to leave the ring for a little bit, and now everybody's leaving oh. the ring. Pulling her down off the apron. No count out here in the three-way match, but there is disqualification, so they're not going to go for any weapons here. As the three decide to party outside for a bit, and uh, a rear waist lock here by Kelly Crush, and Juko is going to get to pose a little bit? No, I guess not. She's going to come outside the ring, and they're going to continue assaulting each other outside the ring. He's take down there. Elbow to the face by Junko. Junko trying to take control outside the ring. Everybody back up, and Junko leaves the ring again, leaving Prism to uh, drag Kelly to the center of the ring. A lot of a lot of feeling each other out, a lot of striking moves, nothing really big quite yet. Oh, what a Ooh, face, buster face buster by Kelly Crush. But Junko counters before Kelly can get a punish. Still, that, that face buster's gotta be the biggest move of the match thus far. We really haven't seen a lot as Junko locked in an ankle lock there for about uh -oh. a second and that was it. Stretching her back. Stomping her face into the mat. Prism picking up Kelly, but Kelly's not having any of that, and Junko is not going to stay up top. Double uh -oh. team action by Junko and Prism on Kelly! Oh, suplex. You know, I'm not really seeing a lot in this match that tells me who's the early favorite. Everybody's been punishing everybody else. We don't have any signature moves yet. It's going to be easy to see. Nice! By, nice reversal by Kelly and a punish follow-up on Prism Sunrise. Kelly getting that early necessary momentum there, but then oh. gets taken down by Junko. A European uppercut by Prism takes down Junko, and double axe handle follow-up catches, actually grazes Kelly Crush as well. 
The bitches division title right now is vacant. Nobody is queen bitch right now. Whitney Wilson is stripped of the title. As we understand, Whitney Wilson is not in the building tonight. Another superstar not in the building as of right now. Trav Curran is not here. He said Matt, to Maxis that he would no-show tonight's main event in which he has a gauntlet match for the Intercontinental title's number one contendership against Fuzzy. And there's a roll-up by Prism. Shoulders down. Wait a minute. They were going to give Fuzzy's gauntlet, Bane's gauntlets that Fuzzy took to Trav? No, they were going to give Trav Curran an Intercontinental title shot if he won the gauntlet match tonight that he's been scheduled for, but right now Trav is not on the card. Match. Or rather, Trav is not in the building. What, where's the gauntlets coming from? No, 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 the gauntlet is, it's, it's oh, one. throwing the gauntlet. Yeah, so it's, it's Trav comes out to the ring, and then the first superstar comes out. Trav has to beat the first superstar, but then he's got another one, and then another one. So he basically has to win three straight matches. We don't even know who actually he would be facing in that gauntlet match. There were rumors that, uh, Eric the Cobra Grunt would actually be coming out to the ring to face Trav Karan tonight, but those have been unsubstantiated. Jubal oh, with a nice chop block on Kelly Crush! And suddenly Kelly is not looking so good, she's taking a lot of punishment. Bring him with a jumping knee and a double axe handle follow up by Junko. And Junko picks Kelly up. I think we're going to see some double team action here. No! Shinbreaker by Prism Sunrise! Now she's going up top, but she's not going to have a target. Or is she? Oh, she catches Kelly Crest with the elbow. Oh, another. Junko follows it up with another elbow. There's the pin by Junko. One. She gets tossed off by Prism. So it's Prism and Junko. As, oh, nice roll up there. Schoolboy, roll up. One. One, two. Wow, Kelly was a little bit slow to get over there, but she just took a couple of elbows from the top rope, so I can't blame her. <laughs> True facts. Nice shot block there. And once again, Kelly just taking punishment, being taken out of this match by Prism and Junko. And there's a oh! double team, Flapjack, Prism going up top for the punish. Another elbow drop, double team. Oh no, she caught Junko with the elbow as well. Nice reversal there. Prism suddenly looking like the favorite. She's got a signature move. Junko is down. Uh oh. She's tying up Prism. This could be the cutter. No, lifting Kelly Crush up. The scoop slam there. Not, Not the signature. signature. This is it. The cutter. The prism cutter by Prism Sunrise. She's going for the pin. One. But she is knocked off the pin by Junko Yakota. But she has a finishing move. And Junko just left the ring. Double reversal. Elbow to the face. Here. Oh, no. I thought for a second we were going to see oh. the French of his magic. Here's oh, the schoolboy roll up. Kelly's jumping One. to the schoolboy. I think that's it for her finisher. Yeah, she else. loses the finisher on time. Junko puts Put Prism in the corner. turnbuckle. Oh, the knee is reversed. A high angle drop kick misses. And there is an atomic drop. And now another atomic drop by Kelly Crush. Junko reverses before Kelly can get a third and into oh, a neck swing neck breaker. breaker. And now she gets behind Prism and headbutts her. Oh, lion oh, salt! Prism's down! Can we see the pin? Junko is posing instead of going for the smart move, which is the pin. Here we go. One, One. two. Oh, no, not even quite two. Prism got over there just in time. Oh, a schoolboy school roll up. up. One. One. Prism was there. Goes for it, but misses. That was another a huge miss by Kelly, or I'm sorry, by Junko. Kelly takes down Junko on the punish. Prism's right there for the pin breakup, though. So that is not going to get to two. Oh, and there's a there's a sneaky roll up by Prism Sunrise one, and once again that's going to be broken up. Junko, wrestling takedown on Prism. She's got to go over to Kelly and take her down, but she's going to go for the uh, elbow drop follow-up. Kelly Kelly's going to go for the pin, and that is going to go absolutely nowhere. Overhand oh. punch takes down Junko. Yeah. Kelly puts Prism in the ropes. Overhand yeah, punch, and Prism goes down. Kelly could win. Kelly oh, picks up Junko instead. Prism tosses Kelly out of the ring.